what's up sun rays welcome back to the channel it's ray if you're new here welcome this video if you saw by the title is going to be a haul um and it's a pretty big one and guys i'm gonna be honest this is my third time filming this haul the reason being is i filmed it the first time uh in a vlog and the clips of the haul got corrupted some type of way so of course it wasn't in that haul and that was actually back in july so i've had this stuff for a while okay so um i got this stuff on sale the sales are now over sorry you won't be able to partake in the sales but some of this stuff will probably be on sale again with you know black fridays and all the sales that'll be going on and stuff like that so hopefully you'll be able to pick up some of these items if you're interested. I'm not showing you these for you to go out and buy. I'm just showing you because I picked them up. I was interested. I wanted to see what they were like. Some of them I needed to re-up on, things of that sort. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that stuff today. And if you can find it on sale, fine. I will try to link everything I can down in the description box. So it'll be easy for you to get to. So we're just gonna get into this massive haul, okay? So the first products I'm gonna show you are products that I picked up from Nordstrom. They were having their anniversary sale. It's over. So yeah, Nordstrom has a really good anniversary sale. So a lot of times when you are eyeing things at Sephora or other places um, and they're expensive and you're like, eh, I'm not sure. Sometimes wait for that anniversary sale at Nordstrom's cause some of that stuff will be 40, 50% off. That stuff is, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, a Black Friday sale sometimes. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So these are the things that I got from the Nordstrom sale. I'm not gonna give you the prices on these things because like I said, I got these things back when and filmed the video, don't have the pricing anymore, but let I will try to remember um, and um, at least tell you, like for instance, let me just go ahead and let, for instance, First thing I picked up was the Necessaire Body Wash. You guys know that I tried this before for you guys and in a video saying, is it worth it? You know, all the stuff that, you know, everybody is talking about, is it really worth it? I picked up the travel set of the Necessaire. It had the body wash, it had the lotion, it had a serum in it. And I said that I liked it. I didn't necessarily care for the eucalyptus scent, but the body wash was good. I liked the little container it came in and so forth, but said I think it was worth a splurge if it's like you know someone's asking you what you want for your birthday things like that but it's not something that you have to have okay all right I still feel that way but I will say that since I used up that little container of it I fell in love with the scent um well I ain't gonna say I fell in love with the scent but the scent didn't bother me as much I got used to it um so I don't mind the scent the scent is fine the body wash is good and I like the little container. I said I was going to use it for traveling and that stuff like that. So when I saw this at the anniversary sale, you get two full size bottles basically for the price of one. I thought that I would pick it up and um, yeah, because you can't beat that. So I can keep one and if I want to give one away for someone to try, then I can do that or I can keep them both for myself. So I did pick this up full size bottles and the full size bottles still have that same twist top that I really enjoy. So yeah, got that from the anniversary sale. Next thing I picked up from the anniversary sale was this Capari set. It has the body oil as well as a body butter in it. And guys, I have already opened this. Like I said, I already did the um, video one other time. So I just put, put it back in the box, but this is the size of the body butter. It is full size as well as the body oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of this packaging again. I've always wanted to try Kapari. I just never have. And then when I saw this set on the anniversary sale, I thought I'd pick it up. Look at this. The bottle is beautiful. It has gold raised um, name or label on it. And these are supposed to be 24 karat gold flex in it, if you can see. Now, I don't know what all that's supposed to do, but it is a beautiful bottle. So I picked up this set because I wanted to try the body oil and the body butter. So we'll see. I'll 
come back and let you guys know if it was worth the purchase. The next set I picked up from the anniversary sale was this L'Occitane three-piece set right here. Um, again, I already have it out of the boxes. I wasn't gonna put it back in the boxes to take it back out of the boxes. It was crazy. So in the set came a full-size hand cream, a smaller hand cream that I'm gonna put in my purse. And then it also came with a cuticle oil, which I thought was nice. So winter time is coming. You know, our hands are gonna be dry from washing them a lot from the cold air and everything. So I thought this cuticle oil will come in handy. So I think I'm gonna put these two in my purse in my little pouch and keep them on hand. And then um, this big one, it is just too big. I wouldn't carry this in my purse, as you can see. But everybody talks about this particular hand cream and how good it's supposed to be. So I wanted to try it. And I'm gonna try it and let y'all know if I think it's that good. So I might just keep this at my bedside table at night when I'm, my hands are getting dry and I can just put this on. So yeah, I'll circle back about these. All right, guys, the next thing I picked up from the anniversary sale at Nordstrom was this Osea. OC, Osea, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it is the Golden Glow Discovery set and it is a three piece set as well. It has the travel size of the body butter, the travel size of the body oil, and then a larger size of the body oil. So everybody talks about this body oil, how it's supposed to be so good. So I thought that I would pick it up and give it a try. Of course, I'll put the travel um, ones in my travel bag in case I wanna take them with me. But then this is what the larger size looks like right here. And yeah, we're gonna see what this Osea body oil is all about. So I believe that is everything that I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So um, now I think I'm gonna move into some hair care, which is what I would think y'all probably here for, so. Okay, so the first um, brand that I wanna let you know that I picked up, they were having a 40% off sale recently. And so, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just try some stuff that I had not tried. What sparked me to pick up from this brand is I just recently did a video using the gel. Uh, and I didn't have the leave-in to it, so I wanted to pick up the leave-in. And that is the Curl Origin Pink Superfoods Leave-In Conditioner. If you remember, I just did a video using the gel. I'll link it here. Um, but I used the gel with a different leave-in, so I wanted to pick this up. So when they were having a 40% off sale, I said, that's a perfect time for me to pick it up. So I picked it up because I wanted to put those two together. I still have a gel over here. Um, and then I also picked up the Pink Superfoods Hydra Melt Hair Mask. So yeah, that would be nice. And then while I was out there, I saw the Agave and Apricot Hydrating Curl Serum, which was different. So I wanted to pick it up. I was like, hmm, that intrigued me, a serum. Um, it's supposed to hydrate and define. So I'm anxious to see how that would work on my hair. And then I also picked up the Agave and Apricot Moisture Drench Rich Cream. So I will use this, I guess, for I'm not sure if it's, it's, it's supposed to be moisture, hydration and moisture for cor coarse dry hair. So I'm not sure if I can use this for a twist butter or not, or if it's just like a moisturizer, but with the cold weather coming, I'll figure out a way to use it. If I wanna use it as a moisturizer under a harder holding gel, or if I wanna use it as a cream for a twist out or something. So these two go, uh, are from the same line. So I wanted to try those out. So I got these from Curl Origin for 40% off. She Scented was also having a 40% off sale, but I didn't get anything from She Scented. I thought about re-upping on my Tahiti cocktail and stuff, but um, yeah, I didn't do that. So um, hopefully you guys caught the sale and got what you want because 40% is good. That's almost like a Black Friday sale, right? And I'm thinking if I can get my stuff before Black Friday for around the same sales that they may have, why not? I can beat the crowd, right? And I said that last year as well. Okay, another set that I picked up because I love this brand and I hadn't tried this line, but when I saw it on sale, I said, okay, now I'll try it. It is the Camille Rose Black Castor Oil and Shebe line. So I picked up the shampoo. So we're gonna see how it is, y'all. Y'all know how I am with Ayurvedic. I mean, I'm not all that impressed with the products that I've tried that were uh 
Ayurvedic, oh, not all of them because I do like the pre-poo from um, Nature's Little Secret, but some other stuff that I've tried, it's hit or miss for me, I'll put it that way. But I do wanna try the shampoo. I also picked up the deep conditioner and then I also picked up the butter cream. So I felt like, okay, I can get a uh, style out of this if I needed to. So this uh, butter cream, so it does say it can be used to moisturize the hair and do braids and twists and things like that. So I figured I could get a set out of this. So yeah, Camille Rose was having a sale. So I picked up a few items from her. So I also re-upped on my LJ Renew uh, deep conditioner that you guys know that I love. I picked up, what, three of these for $10. That is half price. So that is 50% off because these are usually 20 dollars about somewhere around there uh depending on sales and where you pick them up and things like that but they're normally around twenty dollars so if i can get them for 10 that is 50 percent off that's a black friday sale so i picked up three of these deep conditioners which is one of my favorite deep conditioners okay I also picked up the coconut water penetrating hair treatment from Camille Rose. It was on sale as well. Um, and if you remember in my last video, I said if I had to choose between the LJ Renew and this one, I would pick the LJ Renew, but this one is really good too. And I would repurchase it. I think I said it in my empties. I would repurchase it if I found it on sale and I found it on sale. So I went on and got one of these two because I like it. And then I picked up two products that I've never tried before that I wanted to try. One is the Janssen's Moisture Max Conditioner. This used to be um, talked about all the time in the natural hair community when I first went natural, um, but I don't hear anybody talking about it anymore, so I wanted to try it. So I picked it up and then I also picked up the Lavender Quench Deep Conditioner. So um, yeah, I do have some products from the Camille Rose lavender line back there i don't know if this is supposed to go with it or not because the packaging is not purple but it says lavender on here so i figured that i could use this um, deep conditioner when i use those products that's been on my shelf forever and i have not gotten to so i need to get to those as well so i think that is it for what i got from camille rose guys i told y'all this was massive i told y'all i got a lot of stuff i'm like I may not have to purchase for Black Friday, okay? And that's gonna be all right with me. So while y'all up late at night, midnight, one, two, trying to get y'all's products, I'm gonna be in the bed. <laughs> okay, next thing I picked up because Aunt Jackie's was having a sale. I believe they were having a 50% off sale as well. Like I said, like I said, it's been a while that since I got these, but I think they were having a 50% off sale as well. And so I picked up two of the quench. You guys know I like this. Um, I talk about it on my channel uh, and I was like down to here and I was like, okay, well, if they're having a sale, this is perfect time to pick it up and I'm getting it half off, so why not? And then of course, I can't go to Aunt Jackie's and pick up that and not pick up ice curls. I'm sorry, I love this gel. I love this gel, so I picked up two more ice curls because I believe my other ice curls is like down to here and I was like, and I'm gonna run out, what am I gonna do? Well, they had a sale and so I picked it up, guys. I picked it up. So I'm like, shoot, why wait until Black Friday if you're getting almost 50% off? I mean, if I, look, I may be missing out. I might, somebody might end up having a 60% off sale at Black Friday, maybe, you know, we'll see. But what if they do? They may have a 55, 60% off sale and I would have been able to get some stuff cheaper, maybe. But I would have also had to fight other people. I would have also had to remember when their sale was going on. And if their sale was going on the same time another brand that I wanted sale was going on and I'm trying to get that and then I miss out, why? For a few extra dollars, I'll just get it when I know that I can get it. So pick that up from Aunt Jackie's. Hopefully y'all saw that sale and got your stuff too. I believe that I did put on my community tab that Aunt Jackie's was having a sale. Um, I believe I did let you guys know. So I try to let you guys know if I can, um, <clears throat> but hey, 
stuff comes and goes so quick and sometimes I'm barely getting in. And if I'm, I'm barely getting in, I'm not gonna have time to let y'all know and then get my order too, so we'll see. Anyway, okay, so got some more stuff, hold on. Y'all might be shocked by this brand that I picked up because I recently did a video with um, the uh, gel from this brand. I'll link it here too. And I got a pretty good wash and go. It just was not my favorite, the feel of it and everything I didn't care for. But when they were having a sale and I only got 30% off, but hey, I don't know what their sales are because I don't purchase from this brand a lot. So I don't know if they do anything over 30%. Uh, for regular people, I think they did have a 40% off sale after I got these um, and it was for people who were subscribed, you know, subscribe and save, uh, but I'm not on that. So I picked up these products on their 30% off sale and it is the, from the We Dad brand. I picked up their new Moisture Lock Curl Butter that looks like this. And then I also picked up the new Moisture Lock extreme whole gel which looks like this so this has the consistency of a gel that i usually will go for and not the liquid one which is what i had before from the um the advanced climate control it's a little bit more uh thin so when i saw this i said hmm, now that tricked my interest so maybe i'll pick this up and actually one of you uh, told me about these products, these new products coming out. Um, and so when I saw that they were on sale for 30% off, I went on to pick them up. So thank you. You know who you are. Um, so yeah, I did want to get a leave in to go with this, but, um, I did it at the time. And then later when they were having a sale, I wanted to pick up one, but, um, they wouldn't let me use the code anymore. So I wasn't able to get a leave in. So we'll see. Maybe I'll end up getting one at some point or hopefully one of the ones I have in all this stash will go with this and not uh, flake. Um, that's if I'm supposed to even use a leave in. I need to read up on it. If it says don't use a leave in, I might try it without. We'll see. So stay on the lookout for those for, um, for a review on that. Also, y'all be helping a girl out because another one of you got in my comments after a video and asked me had, had I ever tried the ORS brand, the Olive Oil Curl Clumping Gel. And I said, no, I hadn't. And she said it's one of her favorites and it makes her curls last forever and blah, 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 blah. And so I was like, okay, well, if I decide to get, if I keep getting rid of stuff, I'll think about picking it up. Well, <clears throat> I ended up picking it up. It's pretty affordable. It is, uh, what is this? 20 ounces. This is 20 ounces of gel. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I got this off Amazon and it was affordable. So yeah, I am interested in trying this since she really liked it. And then while I was out there, I also picked up another line from the ORS brand and it is the curl show curl creator it has collagen and avocado oil in it so i picked this up because y'all know my hair likes avocado oil and this has avocado oil too so when i saw this i said i want to try this and i haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about it but i have seen a couple people talk about it and they said they like this gel so i thought that i would give it a try maybe it's something that um, will work and you guys will like it they're affordable products and they're pretty big size this is 16 ounces while I was out there, I went on and picked up the Curl Style Mousse as well, because y'all know I like to put a mousse and a gel together so we can see how that goes. And then I also picked up the Curl Style Milk. I actually got this in a set um, off Amazon. I believe they had um, a couple different sets on there and I picked up this set. And so the style milk is with it. And y'all know I like a good milk. So we're gonna see if this milk works. We'll see if this works or if this works or you know if this works we gonna see i'm gonna test it all so i will show you guys that and hopefully they work for me and hopefully there's something that um i can really say hey go out and get it's affordable it's big you know amounts and it will last you guys a long time so that's what i'm hoping for so keep on the lookout for these products as well guys 
I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I was like in a vlog talking about, you know, they're going to have all these sales coming on and blah, 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 blah. And then I fell victim. But I think I actually got some of this stuff before I even released that video. I'm not sure. But I've had some of this stuff forever just sitting in the boxes over here. Remember when I was cleaning up and all that and I said I got all these boxes sitting around? Some of this stuff was in those boxes. So there you go. Alrighty. <clears throat> Next um, line that I picked up, and I don't really purchase from this line either. Um, I have purchased the gel before and the leave-in did a review on it. I'll link it in the cards as well. Um, got an okay wash and go. It wasn't bad. It just had like a grayish look to it and things like that. And I wasn't impressed. So I was going to try it again, but I used up most of the gel. So it's just been over there in my to be used up. Well, this brand TGIN came out with a hydrating styling lotion. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, now I will be interested in this. Does this work like a milk? Is this more like a styler? Can I twist with this? That type of thing. Would this work better with the gel than the leave-in did? Who knows? So I was interested in this. So when they had this on sale, I picked it up. And then I went on and picked up another gel as well because I don't have enough gel to do a whole wash and go, I don't believe. So I wanted to pick up another one so I can really try it with this as well as retry it again with the leave-in and see if I like this. Because a lot of you guys like this line and I don't know, maybe maybe it was me the first time. So I wanted to revisit this. So I got these as well. And I just don't give TGN enough love. I just haven't tried enough of their products. Uh, when I first went natural, I did try the, um, the deep conditioner that everybody loved and I liked it too, but then it had silicones in it. So I quit using it because I got on that no silicone kick. Um, and then I also tried the curl bomb is that what it is the clear gel and it was okay but i think i got flaking but now that i think back i was co-washing at that time so that could be why i got flaking not sure so i just wanted to give them another another shot okay guys this is an honorable mention for hair products i actually um i actually got these on sale as well but this was at the request, or not at the request, one of you guys mentioned this gel too. Yeah, one of you guys mentioned this gel too, asked me if I had ever used it. I said, no, I've seen this gel going around. People like it. Uh, and then when I was on my mousse kick, people were asking me if I had tried the mousse from this line and said it's one of their holy grails. So I went on and picked up their products because they have been mentioned in my comment section a lot. And that is the My L. Uh, curl defining mousse so the person that mentioned this to me and asked me if I had it I went on and picked it up so we're gonna see how I like that mousse people are saying it's really good I also picked up the maximum hold gel styler they came out with a maximum hold gel so I'm interested in trying this I have tried the custard I think from this line didn't care for it uh, and then I also tried the twisting cream I believe from this line and it was okay when I tried uh, it back in the day um, I got flaking so I just didn't use it anymore but I'm interested to see how this uh, works and I think the people that I saw who used this said they didn't get flaking so we're gonna see so because I picked up those two I actually picked up the leave-in as well now I did used to love this leave-in but I just <clears throat> um, quit buying from my L for a while uh, and so I just never picked it up again, but I did want to have a leave-in to use um, with this stuff if need be. And yeah, so I picked that up. So yeah, these reviews are going to be coming soon as well. Alrighty. I think that might be it for, um, oh no, hold on. A few more other things that go toward hair. Um, but I didn't get these from the brand. I got this stuff from uh, TJ Maxx. So let me show you what I picked up from TJ Maxx. Okay, so when I was at TJ Maxx recently, I picked up these things. And the reason I picked up this conditioner, I think I said in a previous video, if the clips weren't re erased, 
but I know I told you guys in a vlog or something I just don't remember if I actually was able to upload it but I said that I am trying to go and pick up OG products products that uh, when I first started doing natural hair some of the products that I was using I was picking up from Trader Joe's I was hearing the girlies use I want to do a video on old school products so recently if you remember uh well i don't know if it made it to the vlog or not but recently i went to um marshall's and tj maxx and stuff like that with my husband and i picked up some old school items and can't remember if i showed them so let i want to show them again and then i want to show you these so these came from marshall's um I picked up the 50-50 balancing, the 50-50 hydrated clarifying shampoo in this big uh, container here. This cost $12.99 for 33 ounces. So that's not bad. This is one of the shampoos back in the day that the girlies was using. And then they also was using the 50-50 balanced hydrating calming conditioner, which looks like this. So I was able to pick it up from Marshalls as well for $9.99. So these are some old school ones. I want to go and use these again, do a video on my old school products. Yeah, guys, tell me how I should do it because I don't know. I don't know if I should just use them, come out and give you a review or how I should um, do the video. Give me, give me some ideas on what would be really creative on how to go back and use and review the old school products from back in the day. Do I still like them? That type of thing. So yeah, I picked up those from Giovanni. And because I picked up those when I was at TJ Maxx, I picked up the smoothest silk protein hair infusion, which looks like this. This is for dry hair. I remember using this back in the day. Um, so this is if, you know, I need a boost of protein or whatever, I would use this and yeah. So yeah, pick that up. I also picked up from TJ Maxx the TPH twist and set um, twisting cream. And it came like this. I thought that was neat. I was like, oh, I, I haven't seen this before. So this is the twisting cream. And then it comes with these little weights right here to put on your twist to help stretch your twist so you don't have to stretch your twist with heat or the Rev Air or whatever. This is supposed to kind of keep them elongated, these weights. So I thought, okay, that's different. I've never tried um, any of Taraji's hair products. So this will give me an opportunity to try it, the twist cream. I didn't know if um, this was enough. So I ended up getting two of them and hopefully I have enough weights. But yeah, interested in using those. And along with this, twist cream from Taraji. I picked up the After Dark Overnight Hair Mask that looks like this. So again, I've never tried anything from Taraji. I didn't see any shampoo or anything like that. Um, so I just picked up the mask to see how it is. And then I picked up the twisting cream. So I'll be um, sharing those things with you guys. And I also picked up, which is, is it downstairs? Oh no, hold on. The other OD but goodie that I picked up uh, was the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo and Conditioner. Guys, this used to be my go-to set. So when I needed to really cleanse my hair, uh, I would use this shampoo. Um, after I've co-wash and co-wash and co-wash and co-wash, I would use this shampoo and then I will go in with the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner and I love these two. And then there were times when I would just co-wash with this. I know, I know, I know, I don't need to hear it. And then there uh, uh, were times when I would just use this to detangle or whatever, but this was my set too, right here. So yeah, old school products, do I still like them? Would I recommend them? Do they still work? I wanna do a video on that, but I'm just trying to figure out how the best way to do it to make it interesting so give me some ideas so yeah those are all the things that i picked up i believe that is all the hair products guys i believe i believe that's all the hair products for all i know no no i can't leave this out y'all gonna be like yay I, can't, I can't leave this out hold on i can't leave this out guys i can't leave this out y'all would have been like what i 
forgot I got these. I just haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it with you guys. Um, where are we scissors? Hold on. Okay, this person dropped a new line. Is that a hint? Y'all probably know who it is. Dropped a new line and I wanted to try out some of the products. Her first line I did not get, I was not interested in, but when she dropped this second line, I was like, okay, I'm willing to try it. And that is the Donna's Recipe products. Yes, can y'all believe it? The first line I wasn't interested in, when she talked about the smell, I was just like, mm, yeah, not nah, mm. sweet potato. I don't even eat sweet potatoes. I just wasn't interested. But when I heard this whipped vanilla cream scent, I was like, okay, and it included a gel. I was like, okay. So I picked up the Curl Defining Mousse, cause y'all know I'm on the mousse kick. So we are gonna see how hers, you know, compares to all these other ones that we have. I also picked up the Curl Enhancing Gel. And I've seen a few people use this already. Didn't try to, they just kind of popped up on my thing and um, seemed to have liked it. So we're gonna see. And then I also picked up the blow dry and heat protectant spray, which looks like this. So you guys know I don't do protectant sprays that often because uh, I don't blow dry my hair that much. But I thought, well, let me just get it and try it for when I do. I do plan on straightening it pretty soon so I can use those rollers I showed you and check my ends out and maybe do, you know, some type of stretch styles or something. So I picked it up as well. So I got these from Donna's Recipe. We're going to see how they work. I'm going to see if I like them now. I hope I do because the price, mm, okay. Now these didn't, I ain't get these on sale. I bought these regular price. I ain't get these on sale, okay? So, uh, or hold on. I got a little discount because I used um, somebody who has a discount code for Donna's Recipe. I used their discount code. I'm trying to remember whose it was. But so I got like, what, 10% off or something like that off of them, which is better than nothing, but it's not a sale like these things. It's not like 40, 50% off, okay? So yeah, but I'm excited to try Donna's Recipe for the first time. Everybody's talking about it, Aunt Tab and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see. The next brand um, that I picked up, because you guys know this brand just dropped a new line too. And this, this is a Holy Grail brand for me. They don't miss for me. And that's Nature's Little Secret. She just dropped a papaya line. I can't, my scissors are over there. So I'm just going to break this open myself. She dropped the papaya line, so guys, I had to uh, get that as well. Um, so, papaya pure moisture leave-in conditioner I got. Mm -mm -mm. Can't wait to try it out. Yeah, all these have labels on them, uh, things on them, so I don't want to open them up yet because, you know... Some of these are natural products, and so, yeah, I don't wanna open them and have to use them so quick. I also picked up the Moisture Boost Conditioner. Basically, I got the whole line. So it comes with the leave-in, the conditioner, it comes with a shampoo. You guys know I like her clarifying shampoo and her other one, so hopefully I'll like that one as well. And then I also has a twist um, and style cream. So, yeah, guys, got these and can't wait to add them to my Nature's Little Secret collection. So, <sighs> yes, 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 yes. I hope I like them. I hope my hair likes the papaya. I hope it smells good. We're going to see. So I got those and I think that is it for hair products. Okay, now we're going to move into some other uh well, let me go back. So when I got the Kapari stuff from Nordstrom, I got this little set here. This was a free gift that has um, Body Bump Be Gone, which I'm not gonna use because I don't have issues with that. So I might put that in like a giveaway. 
Uh, I also have the Ultra Restore Body Butter. So basically it is a smaller one than this. Um, so like a travel or something like that. So that can go in my travel bag. And then also the Hydrating Body Wash, which looks like this. So these can be like little samples um, or maybe I'll use those and decide if I like them or not. And if I don't, then I can give the other stuff away or something like that. We'll see. And then I also picked up Fenty Skin. This was on sale. Um, I think it was like half off or something like that for this. So I was like, well, shoot, let me go ahead and pick this up. Um, so yeah, just wanted to let you know that I got that as well. <sighs> okay, guys, other things that I got, I talked about in a video or a vlog was saying that I needed to really get rid of some um, old makeup and stuff like that. I got a lot of old stuff. I got a lot of old like brushes that have been breaking that I'm trying to get rid of and everything. And I was talking about how I really like Juvia's Place's um, lip liners and all that. And remember I found them in my purse. And anyway, you guys get it. Why well, did ended up end up uh, picking up some stuff from Juvia's Place because she definitely had a sale too recently. And like I said, this is the second time I'm doing this video and y'all see how long it is. Um, so a lot of the stuff I've already taken out of the boxes but I did pick up some lip colors. I picked up some liners, some lip um, glosses, things of that sort. Um, so I just wanted to share with you what I got from Juvia's Place. And actually guys, if you are wondering, my face pretty much is made up of Juvia's Place. The only thing that is not is I use the Fenty Ease Drop on my face but my blush is from Juvia's Place. I use the blushed uh, palette. Now, I already had one. I've been having this one forever, um, but when it got warm, I wanted to get something a little bit more light. So I picked up this one for this color right here, and that is what is on my cheeks today. I also have on the bronzed for a little bit of bronzer from Juvia's Place, which looks like this. I've had this forever. I didn't just purchase this, but I did this. Um, and I don't necessarily care for this bronzer, um, especially putting it on today. I can tell that I don't care for it too much, but that's okay because um, I like the other blush and um, I like so much of her other stuff that it doesn't matter. If you look up here, I have a lot of her palettes up here. And so I did pick up another palette. It's called the Coffee Shop. Y'all know I'm a neutral girl. So I just recently picked this up. Look at those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. So this is what I have on my eyes today. Um, just some neutral colors. So from this Coffee Shop palette, I love her palettes. Um, you don't get a whole lot of fallout from them, which I really enjoy. Um, on my eyes, guys, look, I didn't even know. Y'all didn't even tell me. I didn't even know. Okay, yeah, it's humid. It's humid, guys. Um, on my, um, so on my eyes, I have that, but I have the Fenty mascara on because I don't have a Juvia's Place mascara, okay? Um, so on my lips, I put on the brownie lipstick lip liner. Now this is a new lip liner that I got from Juvia's Place. It's brownie, so it's a really dark brown, which I like. And then I topped that with the uh, lip color in Mocha Chino, which looks like this. So I'll swatch it. It's kind of, all the lip colors I got are somewhat warm, like nudish brown or, you know, um, nudish mauve or mauve brown, that type of thing. So here is the lip color and then I put the lip liner on. So that's what's on my lips. It's almost worn off now. I've been doing so much talking. Yeah, been doing so much talking. So um, I will say that when I got this, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more sheer, but it does go on quite thick. 
um so it you can get a lot more color payoff the more that you put on i think so yeah pick though that up i also picked up a the color well scorpio and cola i already had and i've had them for so long that they're almost gone so i just re-upped on those um but i also picked up the color lush which looks like this it is more of a see that it's more of a mauvey berry color more on the cool side versus the warm side and then i also picked up what's called so rare and if y'all can see that it's kind of a more on the um nudish brown or like a taupey type brown color i think is what it said so we'll see and then i also picked up this lip color in cocoa butter which looks like this. So this is gonna be more neutral. It's supposed to be anyway. It's supposed to be more neutral than the mocha um, chino that I have on. You can see the difference, but they're very similar. This is what I have on, and then this is a little bit more neutral. Yeah, let me swatch it real quick. Yeah, so this is gonna be See that? There it is right there. So this is gonna be more like your um, nudie color. And then I also picked up another one. Guys, I just went ham because she was having a sale too. I think her sale was, uh, I think it was like a 60% off sale or something that I caught. So this one is more like a this is called Kenyan. Kenyan, so it's kind of has a little bit of reddish in it. It's kind of like a reddish brown right here. That looks really pretty. So I picked that up. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone in some of them. Okay. Now the lipsticks that I picked up. Now these are really out of my comfort zone. Y'all gonna be like, what the heck? They're reds. Y'all know I don't do red, but I said I need a red. I might go out. I need a red. So I picked up a couple different color reds so this one is called rouge right here that's pretty this one is called perfect red which is right here so this one is red this one is a little bit more of a blue undertone and this, this one is more of a perfect red, like it said. And then I picked up Frenemy. And then, look how dark that is, guys. Y'all gonna be like, what the heck? So it's more of a purplish undertone, plummy type red. It's right here. So yeah, those are new for me. Y'all know I'm a neutral girl. But I wanted to step out of my comfort zone, pick those up. I also picked up a lip balm, which is not in here. I've already used it. I like it. It's down in my purse. So I picked up a lip balm. And guys, I got so much stuff everywhere. I'm telling you, I've already had this stuff out, then pushed it to the side, and now I'm pulling it back up here. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it um, that I picked up from Juvia's Place. I also picked up a few fragrances. So, um, Ellis Brooklyn, um, I picked up their sample set. You guys know I already like Myth, um, and I have that, been wearing it. But um, Sunfruit, I hear a lot of people talking about the front Sunfruit, and I wanted to try it, and instead of buying like a whole lot of the travel sizes or whatever, I just got this Discovery set that had the Sunfruit in here, as well as the Vanilla Milk, so I'm interested in that as well. And then the salt. Now I did pull these out. I did smell the salt. I don't care for it as much. It is supposed to be more like beachy scent um, and stuff like that. But you can definitely get like a salty, um, it has a salty tone to it. And I don't necessarily care for the saltiness of this when I tried it. But I want to give it a little bit more tries. So the sun fruit was pretty good when I first sniffed it. Um, I wasn't sure, but then once it dried down, I was like, oh, okay. And then I haven't tried the vanilla yet. So we're going to see. So I picked that up as well. I also picked 
I also picked up, I also picked this up and I think I shared this with you guys already in, no I didn't. Um, did I share this in a vlog? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna share it again. But I also picked up Rose Era. This is a new scent. I heard Tresses of Alexis talking about this and I was like, hmm, let me try this. She was talking about how it smells fresh, how it's perfect for this time of year. It does have some rose in it, but it's not overpowering rose. And you know, go look at her uh, channel and you can hear what she talk, says about this. So I thought, okay, let me try that. And I did use your code, Alexis, um, your link. So they all, you know, guys, try to use the people that you watch as a link. It helps them out. Why not? So yes, I did use her link to help her out and then also get me a little bit of a discount. So yes, I picked this up and guys, look how it looks. This like opens up like a rose, like rose petals. And uh oh, and this is the bottle so it's different it has a magnetic top on it i have already smelled it and i do like it it does smell very girly very summery it does have that rose aspect but it isn't overpowering it has some sweetness to it it's nice so i want to give it a little bit i want to you know wear it on me and see how i like it but just smelling it on here smells good so I picked that up as well like I need any more uh, perfumes but I was interested because what I do want to do is get those that I really really love and stick with those and the ones that I'm on the fence about and eh, whatever get them out of my stash never to be seen again no I shouldn't say that <laughs> you know just get them out and then just have the few that I really like um, and then every blue moon maybe rotate Take in a new one because um, I don't know. I don't plan on being a, like a perfume kind of sewer or nothing like that, or do a whole lot of perfume videos. I'm saying that that's not my intention. Um, so yeah, I just want to get the ones that I like that will go with me and not bother my senses and stuff like that. So yeah, so pick that up as well. Um, Guys, I'm trying to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And guess what? I found another package. And y'all gonna be shocked about this. Y'all might not be because I have said this before. But here's my package. I picked up Frizz Wiz from Sotanicals. So Sotanicals was having a sale recently. And I was like, what? And I was like, ugh, do I want to deal with Sotanicals? Ugh, do I want to deal with Sotanicals? But they were having the sale. So I was like, I need to go ahead and get this stuff get this now because I'm not going to deal with them on Black Friday and I still have not found uh something that to replace the frizz whiz right now you guys know in another video I was saying I was trying to find some other leave-ins to go with my um Alicay Naturals gels the creme brulee and stuff like that something that's going to give a little bit of hold and to help the gel hold too um and I tried a few things that I thought would work I still like the Frizz Wiz better so far. So I didn't want to run out and not have anything, okay? So when I had a sale, I went on and stocked up and got three and I'm not gonna open these until I need to. So yeah, I shouldn't have to purchase any more of these for a while because I don't use the Alicay Creme Brulee that much or the Aloe Berry Gel that much. Um, and that's what I normally use these with. It doesn't mean I can't use these with something else. It just means that I need to have this on hand to go with those because that's what I like to use with those just to help the hold since it's a lighter weight gel, if y'all know what I'm saying. So I did pick these up. So now I'm done. I think I'm done. If I find anything else, this is gonna have to be in a different video. But that is it for my massive haul, guys. Now. I gotta find somewhere to put all this stuff. Again, I'll try to have everything linked in the description box um, that I talked about. And yeah, 
I went ham, but I got good deals, so I'm not too mad about it. And that's why I may not be doing anything for Black Friday. Unless a brand really drops something new that I'm interested in, I probably won't do anything for Black Friday because I just don't need anything, okay? I wanna let y'all know that I may do some videos saying what you should get for Black Friday, what brands to look at and things like that. So I may still do that, but I probably won't be doing a what I'm gonna get or a Black Friday haul unless something really changes because I think I got enough here to um, get me through um, next year, okay? To be honest. So yeah, guys, that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed this massive haul. Let me know if you have tried any of these things, if any of the things that I showed you are your favorites. Let us know in the comments section below. Let us know why they're your favorites, what you use them with. You know, let us know the best sales. If it's some stuff like from North, you know, some of the more expensive stuff, let us know when you pick them up and stuff like that. Help us out in the comments section below. We want to know. And guys, if you are going to pick up any of the new new, let us know that too. So I'm excited to hear everything that you guys want to talk about in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.